Alrighty y'all, what's up and welcome to another mail time. This kind of being a first, a European only episode. So this is basically our first totally European package video. So really exciting, you guys are awesome. I can't thank you enough. Uh, we have had European packages before in other videos that you know were kind of, kind of like Australian mail time videos and we had some Euro ones mixed in. So uh, I will link some of those at the end if you want to check those out or if you missed them. Really cool stuff we've got sent from Europe and a lot from Australia and New Zealand. It's really cool. I'm really excited for this. We have, I believe, about seven packages. So let's get right to it. Kick back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy. All right, so first up, we have this envelope. And this is from Graham, um, I believe, from the UK. So Graham, thank you so much. Let's check it out. All right, so... That. Looks like we have a note inside as well. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Okay. All right, we got a letter. Hi, Ian. I thought you would appreciate some British truck and bus magazines. Hopefully a good insight into the past, present, and future of the industries. Love the channel. Keep up the good work. Regards, Graham, Yorkshire, UK. Graham, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at these. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, so first one, I see an awesome red Volvo truck. Oh. You know how much I love Euro trucks. Yes. Volvo is included. Look at this, commercial motor. We have a Renault Magnum right there, a Volvo Globetrotter XL. Look at oh. that. This is in beautiful, <laughs> beautiful shape. So thank you. Oh my God, this is gonna be fascinating to look through. <laughs> <gasps> look at that. Look at the Scanias. Oh my gosh, they're huge. That's awesome. Secondhandtrucks.co.uk. That's Please really cool. Please don't tell him. I was going to go buy one. <laughs> yeah, right? Don't give, me, don't give me the... No. <laughs> I'm going to be looking through this and, uh, and salivating dream. for sure. Yeah, he can dream about it. I could dream, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this old truck. Whoa. That's so cute. That's cool, can right? Zoom in. It's like a green... Zoom in on that thing. I, I like that the... Uh, like old power wagon. I love how it looks, right? an old power wagon right don't you love the green and red it's beautiful it does kind of i mean it's different but yeah i know what you mean it's yeah. reminiscent of an old rugged truck like an old power wagon from the 40s yeah. from here yeah that's really neat this is going to be really educational thank you thank you Graham. that is awesome dude <laughs> that is cool oh look at this what? remember i just started on the channel a land rover series look at this old land rover right there that that's ambulance? really cool that is like I mean, ambulance. it kind of does look like an ambulance. It actually says police on it. Maybe some sort of police oh, cruiser or transport vehicle. Uh -huh. That's really cool. Uh, I'm really digging the old Land Rovers. Those are really neat. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's see what's in the next one. Okay. Okay, so then we have a small one. This is kind of cool. It says safer driving commercial motor motor transport from December of last year. So this is pretty recent. Um, this must be like kind of like a little guidebook for like how to drive. Big, yeah, how to drive, especially like commercial vehicles and stuff. Oh, okay. Training and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Safety equipment. Nice. That's very interesting. Thank you. I will definitely read through that as well. That's really nice. We also have commercial motor, a calendar for 2024. What? Cool. Thank you. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> 60 years, 1964 to 2024, Scania, UK. That's really cool. That is nice. I will definitely hang this up we either pictures. here or uh, in the studio, probably yes. as well. Oh, yeah. Look at these. I love calendar you pictures, know, you know. You know what it reminds me of? What? European truck simulator. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Like the little lot in the, in the first. The yeah. Look at these cool pics. Whoa. That. That's a nice sunset. That's gonna be awesome. Thank you, very thoughtful. Thank you. Then we have Heritage Commercials, a world of classic lorries, trucks, and vans. Now that's fun, I'm still learning the lingo. I think lorries is what you guys call like heavy trucks, like semi-trucks in the UK specifically, I think. So that's pretty cool. Lorries. Um, I, I, again, I love the old truck. What is that front? We have a Citroen too, look at that. Look at that little thing. It's like is a little a, Citroen like a pickup. <laughs> they took a 2CV and made it a pickup. I want that. Oh my, of course you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. You guys, if you missed it, I have a little series on different Citroens I've learned about and I am just 
fascinated by classic citrulins. And he loves I didn't those. know anything about those growing up, and boy, are they a trip. They are really cool. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Smells so good, too. I love some, you know, how some of the newer oh, yeah, catalogs the, the smell papers. and stuff, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, lots of old trucks in here. Really, like really cool. Mm -hmm. This is awesome, Graham. <laughs> Seriously, man. The paper reminds me of my hamster stuffing. Oh, for sure, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then we have classic and vintage commercials. So more commercial vehicles. Wow. Look at that one. England, it's like Scotland. Italian. Yeah, it's like Italian colors. Oh, yeah, the white, uh, green, and red. Mm-hmm. Wow, a bunch of interesting vehicles. Again, look at this. So this is like commercial, like to like deliver goods and stuff. Commercial vehicles, so it could be dump trucks, construction trucks, garbage trucks, you know, transport, you know, semi trucks and stuff. Cool. Um, a lot of these are really old. Take a look at some of these. I mean, these are cool. cool. This is going to be great for me to learn about. Wow. Right. Yeah. And, and reference sale? some older vehicles. Alrighty, and then we have trucking. I think that's all it's called. It's just trucking. Whoa. Really cool examples again. Oh, all red, totally red on red. So Reno, nice. very cool. Ooh, look at that timber. Whoa, Whoa there. It's so big. There's an Aveco. That's an uh, that's an Italian manufacturer. Cool. Very cool. It's a cool silver color. This is a cool Aveco. Look at that green color of that one. Oh my you gosh! Yeah, I like the back. What is like? What is it? A garbage truck? That looks like some sort of a transport truck or a dump truck. Yeah. Okay, some sort of wall planner. Wow, born a little bit there. Oh my God, that's okay. That's so cool. Is it's that a magazine? A bit. What is that, like for it's, your wall? Um, by the way, it's branded as DAF, the manufacturer of trucks. Oh, okay. Really, really cool. Is this like their schedule or something? Look at that. Is wall, that cool or what? It's a wall planner. Isn't that awesome? It's like a, yeah, yeah, I've never seen a counter like that before. No, I, I actually, I haven't either. I've never used something like this personally, so that's pretty cool. This is different, Ian. Yeah. Whoa. And the pictures are neat. Doff makes beautiful trucks. Look at that newer truck. Like, wow. holy smokes. This is cool. They make awesome stuff. All right, then we have this Buses Yearbook 2024. It's cool. This is cool because, A, European buses as a whole are just new to me. Totally, you know, pretty much different, more futuristic than our city Those are buses. so cool. So they're always interesting. But then UK especially, they have like the, the double -deckers? famous double-decker buses in London and stuff. So this is going to be really cool to look at. And there's one in your city or town that yeah. has a random one. And a fun fact, guys, we're going to try and get a picture there, maybe film a little bit there for there's a video like a or, something. or something. There is, uh, I have to investigate it because it might be something kind of <laughs> interesting. There is a like English pub or English style pub. Yeah. Kind of local in our town that I've never been to. But they have a bus. And it's like a fish and chip. Yeah, fish cafe, and chips. Not cafe, fish and chip Thanks. place slash pub. Yeah. And uh, it's got all the UK flags and Scotland and England and all that stuff. So it looks pretty cool. And they legit, this is in Illinois, USA. <laughs> they have one of these style, like I'm old. assuming pretty old, yeah, like 60s, like 70s maybe like a London double-decker bus. And yes. it's, you can tell it used to be red and it's really faded, it's almost really faded. to like a pink, you know? Yeah. But it's really cool. Yeah. They have it like as parked next to the place. Anyway, so we, I want to go look at it closer. I've only seen it from the street driving by, but uh, sure. yeah, so that's pretty cool. That sparks my interest. But yeah, this should be really cool seeing the different things about buses and stuff. I mean, look at these. These are so crazy, right? I can't believe that. I've never gotten one of those. These look very interesting like to me. Fun. I've never ridden a double-decker ever. I want to ride one. So that's cool. And then we have, finally, transport news. Uh, these are all really nice, man. Really good shape, really cool. Uh, I can't wait to read these. This is, of course, more commercial vehicles and advertisements and stuff. I, I think this is gonna be awesome. I so, think so too. Thank you, Graham, so much. Thank you, Graham. Great package. Thank you. Alrighty, and next up, we have this yellow box. And this is from Michael from Germany. So, Michael, thank you very much. Let's rip this open. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay, so, got a note. Dear Ian and family. Hi, my name is Michael. I work as a male nurse slash EMT in a factory of Mercedes-Benz, Sindelfingen near Stuttgart, in a factory working nearly 40,000 employees. Oh my God, 
foreign oh. service, delivery service, etc. This guy's an EMT in a Mercedes factory. That's amazing. That's insane, right? Yeah, they own doctors. That is so cool. Um, for reference, I worked at a Chrysler factory years ago, and I thought it was big, but and and to be fair, it was. But you know, employee wise, it was only around four to five thousand, four thousand, five thousand, somewhere around there. Forty thousand is oh huge. <laughs> Like a whole city. Um, so I imagine they have a lot of staff of a lot of different types for sure. That's crazy. Um, that's amazing. It's like a little town with a medical service and rescue units for emergency care, medical, and fire brigade. What? Fire brigade, sorry. That's that's insane, right? Oh my god. I've seen that actually in some of my emergency vehicles videos. Well, factories okay. are so big. Like I've seen the Audi one, I think. Okay, yes. That they have their own ambulances, their own police Inside cars. Inside of the factory? For the factory. Holy Not for god. that town, but for the factory. That's crazy. Isn't that insane? Oh my gosh. So it's yeah, cool. this is big business for sure. I appreciate your vlog very much. So I send you some gifts. I got it. When I do special medical service slash treatment for company slash customers, uh, stickers, cars, pens, only the Beagle and other gifts. I forgot who gave it to me. Sweats are my favorite sweats. The blue pack chocolate is my favorite one. The factory is near my hometown. The triangle one is from Switzerland and the two bags are gummy bears. Usual with a special flavor of Coca-Cola. <laughs> mm -hmm. The gifts, I wish you and family a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sincerely, Michael. Wow. Aww. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. And, uh, by the way, I, if I don't know, a, a lot of you might not have seen a couple of our previous mail times, but we had a bunch of packages Come on, backed once. up. For some reason along the way, got stopped and halted, and I didn't get any packages for two months, and I got them all at once. So mm -hmm. some of these might be from January, you know, December. even December. So I do apologize for the delay, but really, thank you so much. Let's take a look thank at this. Thank you. It's awesome. So first up, you know me, I'm gonna grab the car. First car <laughs> I see. This is Mercedes branded. Let's see what it is. Oh my God, look at the official Mercedes box. You see that? Oh yeah, the little like um, wide looking like word. That, uh, it's a three-pointed star. Oh, three-pointed yeah. star, sorry. And as if we take a look, <gasps> I'm not gonna pretend like I know the exact year and model, but uh, that is clearly an old Mercedes and it looks Whoa. beautiful. It's those fancy From ones. that awesome era where you had those swooping designs yeah. and fenders and all that, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, Roddy. looks great in red. So wow. that is a beautiful car. That's Thank you. Beautiful. That's very cool. And it even says Daimler AG Stuttgart, Germany on here. What? So that is pretty cool. Thank you. Oh, another one. We have a VW, or should I say a Volkswagen Koffer Cabrio, 1961. Look at that. That is it's so cool, cute. right? It's so cute. It's so tiny and green. I know. I love it. It's so cool. It's um, convertible. I have seen these very rarely in the U.S., but yeah, older Beetles, you know, in a convertible or a Cabrio are rare, at least over here. So that is pretty cool. Thank you. That's, that's Thank really you. neat. It's cute. God, no way. What? <gasps> I do kind of know. This is like, I don't know the exact name, but I think this is called... Let's see if the doors open. It looks like they do. This is called like an old gull wing, I think. It is. This is a car from the 50s and the doors opened up like that. <gasps> from the 50s. Oh my gosh, they were, they were advanced yeah. back then. Look Mercedes at that. Mercedes has always been so advanced. Cool. Like, look at that, how cool that is. Oh my gosh, look at their floppy ears. <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, they're just beautiful cars too. It's really nice and cute. Damn. Really cool. Um, that is so thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, and then look at, look how small this one is. See? It's a miniature. This is the smallest, like, little car I've ever seen. It's a little Audi TT. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if, like, if you could tell how small this is. It's really small. It's almost like a keychain or something. Right. It's very yeah, small. even look at, compared to that little Mercedes. Oh my gosh, it's teeny <laughs> tiny. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, but it's legit. It even has rolling tires, you know? <laughs> it works. <laughs> That's very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this. Dude, this is so cool. Is that a lanyard? Look at this Mercedes-Benz Museum lanyard. What? <gasps> How cool is that? You see that? Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Wow. 
Look at HP even branded, like Hewlett wow. Packard too. That is so Dance. cool. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. That's cool. That's really neat. But no way. What? Look at this Mercedes Benz pen. You're official. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's cool, baby. That is so cool. And like I would expect from Mercedes, what? it's so fancy. Oh, fancy. Look at fancy. this. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, you got to try that. Ooh. It's so satisfying. It looks like it's very mechanical. I don't want to waste the ink on it because it's. No, you don't have to try writing, but you got to click it because okay. it's. It, this isn't That's... some little. Dot, you know, Walmart pen. This is <laughs> this is legit. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, that is nice. You gotta try that. Ooh, oh, yeah. We got good spring system in there. <laughs> Thank you. This is really cool. That's nice. Yeah. It's very nice. Okay, this is something Mercedes again. Oh, it's like a chip. I think in Germany they pronounce it Mercedes, like Mercedes. Mercedes. Oh my God, they're little pins. Look. What? <gasps> Look at these. Oh my God, you're so cute. How cool is that? Oh, oh wow. God. I love it. They're like little like, they're kind of like anime. Yeah, like cartoonish style. Uh -huh. this, those are really, really neat. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Oh my God. So cool. And then there's one more thing in this Dance bubble wrap. Key key oh, how cool is that? <gasps> oh my God, it is legitimately like a Mercedes key fob. Oh, I can trick everyone now. Oh, is it a, a drive <laughs> for keeping memory? Oh, is that what it is? Like a I drive? thought it was a keychain. Even the computer oh, to put your photos and stuff. It's a USB yeah. stick. Yeah. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh my god, that's a cool. But it looks up. legit, right? That's so cool. <laughs> I'll have to, have to prank someone, you yeah. know? Be like, oh, here, you can take my car here, you know? Ah. Like, yeah, I really made it. I got a Mercedes, you know? <laughs> That is so cool. Thank you. And then we got oh, some yummy else? goodies oh. in here. Yeah. Straight from Germany. We got what? Ritter Sport. What's that? Look at that. Oh, yum. This is the one he was talking about in the blue package. Ooh, that looks really good. Mm. Wow. Um, I think maybe we should try this in yes. a second. So let me just show you the other stuff, then we'll try this. Okay, this cool. looks, even the packaging is phenomenal. It's like crisp. It's crisp, yeah. Mm -hmm. So clean. Dang. And we do have these in the U.S., though I don't know how much they're changed or if they're made here and, or imported. I don't know how it works, but these are actual German oh, Haribos. He likes those. Which I did know that that's a German brand. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the U.S. ones might be a little different. I'm excited to actually get German ones. He, you he know? likes those too. <laughs> uh, so we will definitely try these. Well, the kids try them too, because I'm sure they'd love these. And you can tell it's got the actual German text on there yeah. and stuff. So. Uh, yeah, so this is know. cool. Thank you. Wow, thank you. That's so cool. And we have more Haribos. Now these I've never seen in the U.S. Have you? Oh, no, never. These are Haribos uh, Happy so Colas. Cool. <laughs> oh, those are cool. That is so cool. They're like little Coke bottles. I've seen other brands that came like that. that those are cool. Yeah, we 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 do have some sort of something like that. Weird, like little Coke bottle candy. But I, honestly, I don't even know if I've had the American one. I've never tried I them. So. I haven't. Um, so this is really cool, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely try those too. I've seen these rarely. They are in the U.S., but they're hard to find. These are, I believe it's Toblerone or something, right? Mm -hmm, like and this is like a Swiss uh, candy. Can we could, try that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We try it. We could try it. It's, uh, it does say established in Switzerland, 1908, but this is an actual European Toblerone, not, oh a, not one from the U.S. store here. Yeah, I so. want to try one originally from the U.S. Yeah. We will definitely try this too. So let's go to the try test, Insta try test here. Thank you so much, Michael. What Thank an you, amazing Michael box. Who helped. Cool car stuff and awesome sweets. Good combo. Thank you. All right, so we're going to try these Haribo Cola ones first. If you don't already know, uh, this is my beautiful daughter, Emma. This is our son, Andrew. You ready to try some stuff? All right, let's try these Cola Haribos. Or Haribos. I'm sure I'll be corrected which one it is, right? Haribos. Haribos? I, I don't yeah. know again. <laughs> oh my god, that is interesting. Who wants to try it first? Me. Okay. Can I get one, one to for see you? in front of the camera? It smells like soda. It does, right? A little soda can. One for you, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'll take a soda inside here. Ready? Yeah, Cheers. It does <laughs> Prost. <laughs> Go. Salud. Prost. Cheers. It Salud. It does Prost. smell like soda. Oh my gosh, it smells like carnation. 
Mmm. Ooh. I don't like soda that much. <laughs> but it tastes just like soda. How did I do that? You like it? <laughs> That's better than I thought it would be. Now, I do like soda, right? But oh, yeah, you do. Soda flavored thing sounds a little weird to me. <laughs> I don't like soda. It's pretty interesting. I don't hate it. It's not my favorite candy ever, but mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. But like, it is just like soda, you guys. Yeah. Wow, that is so interesting. Say thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we'll try the, I guess these would just be regular or original. Mm -hmm. uh, Haribos. So, the teddy bears, gummy yeah, bears. Yeah, the, the teddy bears or gummy bears, right. So let's try them out. I call them teddy bears. You call them teddy bears? Okay. What color do you want? I want yellow. Yellow? Okay, yellow for you. Is that pineapple? Or gold? <laughs> what color do you want, bud? No, gold. Gold? gold? Okay. <laughs> and I'll take a I'll take a red. Red's always my favorite color. Give me one just randomly. There's like a pink for you. Okay, I got a pink. Well, this is close enough. I don't know if this is actually no, I do want a red one. I see one. Mm. It's red or pink. I'm not sure which, but. It's red. <laughs> oh, they smell amazing. Dang. Mmm. It tastes so good. That is so good. You like it, Andrew? Mm -hmm. And to Emma? It's so <laughs> interesting looking at the nutrition facts. Daddy, don't come in. Bill makes me eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are actually refreshing. They're really good. It don't make good. me eat. Oh man, yeah, I could eat a few more of these. Maybe. Cool. Mm. Mm. Wow. This tastes good. This will be next while we finish our gummy worms here. Um, <laughs> gummy bears. <laughs> Gummy worms. This will be next <laughs> as I'm finishing my gummy bears. And I was just telling my wife that this packaging is like so tight and, and clean, right? Yeah. I don't even want to break it open. <laughs> it's just like so nice looking, you know? It is. So I got to lift up the back. How like lift it and then crack it on the area right there. Like, like break it off. Okay. Yeah, it shows, it shows like fold this flap mm -hmm. and then break. So let's go, baby. Let's ready? Go. Yeah. <gasps> like that? Yeah. Like, kind of like a, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's opening up. Oh my God, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so look, we can grab one out. Is that a hazelnut flavor, hon? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this piece. Okay, right. okay so. Here's what they look like. Ooh, they're little squares. Rust stone. Okay. Mm. Want yeah, one, babe? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Thank you. Here we go, down the hatch. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. What flavor is it? Is it the same specific flavor? I think it's milk chocolate. Okay. Wow. Daddy, this is really That is phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> mm hmm. It's really good. Really creamy, really good. I like that a lot. Much better than Hershey's. <laughs> if, if you don't already know, there are some good chocolates and stuff here, but. You know, the mainstream stuff like Hershey's and stuff in the U.S., I'm just, I'm not a fan of. It's really weird. Waxy and kind of goofy. This is good. Melts in your mouth. Good flavor. All right, and then finally, I'm just going to try the Toblerone real quick. You guys are going to try it later, you said? Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. So this, I do know, you take this and you just kind of rip open this tab. Oh, I've never had one of these before. I may, I think I've only had one of these in the U.S. like once. 
And I do remember this. What is that paper? Um, then again, I I don't know if ours are different or what. Is that foil? Look at that. So it comes out. Whoa, it's like, like a little pyramid. Mountains or pyramids or triangles, whatever. And once you get them open, I think they kind of look like. Oh my god. Kind of look like mountains. Like a little bite size. Everything is a bite little, size. Oh. Okay. And it says Toblerone, I think, if you see the oh, whole thing. Okay. Um, yeah, they're like little bite-sized mountains. I mean, we're talking about Switzerland, you know? So right. Oh, yeah. Very mountainous place. They're from Switzerland. So I'm going to break open a mountain. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. Looks and smells good. Here we go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Damn, you guys are not seem that good for the kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, yummy. That is good. Mm. Wow. Where is this from? Switzerland? Switzerland. Wow. I mean, if, if I remember right, I think Swiss chocolate's pretty famous for being pretty darn good. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, and next up, we have this box from the UK from S.R, those initials. Uh, I don't want to say their last name for privacy, as always. So, right. S.R from the UK. Thank you. Let's take a look. Thank you. Okay, so I believe their name is Steven. So, Steven... Uh, Ian, we uh, we in the UK are insular people because we're an island nation and we have to look outwards to the world. You in the you in you in the USA are insular because you appear to be insulated from the outside world. <laughs> that is the running gag on the channel, and, and, and there is some truth to that as well, based on how our media news is and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we are pretty far away from everything as well. Many might not even recognize Mexico and Canada as being next to the USA. You, on the other hand, want to expand your horizons, even as far as Australia, and I, many others, applaud that. Thank you. I, that's the whole goal, is uh, I love learning about different cultures in the world and stuff, and yeah, you pretty much have to do that yourself here, you know? Oh, yeah. There's not a lot of media out there covering uh -uh. world stuff. It's always USA all the way. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate that you recognize that. Uh, you will know Aunt Anstead from Wheeler Dealers. As a retired police officer, as I was too, a police court prosecutor, he wrote the enclosed book about his time in the police and the vehicles that he knew. You may find it interesting. That's really cool. Fun fact, I have seen a few episodes here and there with my dad way back in the day, probably 10 years ago or so, of Wheeler Dealers. That was a show in the UK where they... they did deals these guys bought old what? cars yeah it was like a, a guy i can't remember their names i remember the one guy i think was ed china was a mechanic guy he was really tall mm -hmm. and then a shorter guy i can't remember his name right he would do the deals and like negotiate with people and drive what? them and he'd find like something was broken and stuff and he'd try and talk them down oh my god they'd end up buying something that mechanic guy would fix it and restore it, get it all nice, and they'd try and flip it for a profit. Wow. Wheeler Dealers. It was a really cool show. Uh, I'll have to check out, see if it's on one of the services, and see if I can find some old episodes of that. I really did enjoy that show. Uh, the other book is a Make Right, or uh, I'm sorry, the other book is a Make Wait, and the magazine may be of interest to you. With your interest of other countries' police vehicles, you may like to glance at the below-listed YouTube videos. Oh, cool. He has... Like five different YouTube videos uh, suggested here. I will definitely take a look at those. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy these if you find the time. Regards to both you and your family. Sincerely, Stephen. Stephen, thank you so much. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Thank you, Stephen. You're speaking my language here. I think this is going to be very fun. Thank you. So here is the one of the books. This is Cops and Robbers. The story of the British police car. Oh my God, what? this is gonna be so cool. It's a cool book. It that is big. awesome. How generous, man. This is like brand new. Look how good a shape it's in. Oh Ooh, my God. Cops and robbers. <laughs> That's really cool, babe. That is so cool. Thank you, Steven. Yeah, and Ann said, oh my God. Beautiful book. <gasps> really thick too. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does have pictures, too. I mean, look at this old Volvo police car. Whoa. See that? Yeah, that's old. <gasps> oh, I my God. It's a black and white picture, too. It's like an old switch panel, different controls, I'm sure. What? Wow, look at this stuff, dude. That is so cool. Wow. You love cop cars. This is going to be a treat. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, like he said, if you don't already know, I love emergency vehicles, police vehicles, that kind of thing, learning about them. Mm -hmm. um, I even own an ex-police vehicle here in the U.S., an old Crown Victoria, if you've ever heard of those. Um, how cool is this? What? What? They, at <gasps> least at one time, used Subaru police cars. Subaru? That's a Subaru. Oh, my God, that's a yellow tire. It even has the gold rally rims. What? Oh, my God, that's <laughs> that so That is crazy. so cool. That is crazy. This is going to be fascinating. Thank you Thank so much, you, man. Thank you, Alrighty, and then we have another book. <gasps> this is going to be cool. The new Jack Reacher. What? Lee Child, the world's number one bestseller, and Andrew Child. No plan B. Perfectly plotted with bigger twists than ever before. <gasps> Look at that. That's a big book. That's a big book, and it's, again, no just phenomenal. B. Wow. Really big book. This is gonna be cool, man. Well, Jack Reacher, I, I know. Netflix? Was a show or a movie, right? Oh, okay. Wasn't it? I saw a Netflix show about it. But I don't yeah, know. It's I think a it's. Book. I think there's been some sort of movie or series here. I can't remember. I, I don't. I never saw it. Right. So, um, and this is clearly a book that probably came first, honestly. I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I think it looks like some sort of an action thriller type genre. Wow. Wow. Anyway, yes, this is really, really nice. Um, wow, and it's definitely brand new. It's in gorgeous shape. Thank That's you so nice. much. That will be a very interesting read. Um, thank you. Thank you. We have some, oh, we some have a magazine. magazine. Oh my God. What? This is a big magazine. Auto Express. Look at this. This is a Nissan. Now, of course we have Nissans here, but not necessarily all the models you would have there. Right. This is called a... <laughs> What the heck is that? A Kosh? <laughs> Koshai? Koshkai? What is that? Quashkai? I don't know. That is a Nissan that we don't have in the States. I can tell you that. It's different. It's very futuristic looking, yeah? Yeah. This is going to be really cool, again, because, um, I mean, actually, half the cars on this cover I don't even recognize. I do uh, spy some Skodas right I, there. Yeah, that's Very cool. cool. I do love those. Look at even some old cool Porsches. Wow, let me see. Let's wait. Some old Porsche race cars. Wow, cool. Wow, this is going to be awesome. Look at this. I, all of these. I don't even know what these are. A T Cross from Volkswagen? What? That's cool, right? Mm hmm. I've never heard of them either. You guys know I'm fascinated with car culture in different countries. For example, it, it, like in the UK, you guys have so many cars that we don't have here in yes. the US. Our car market's really weird. Mm -hmm. So we miss out on a lot of manufacturers, uh, even on a lot of different just models from car ma makers we do have. Yes. So here are some Skodas. I do love those. Oh. Again, we don't have those here. No. Although I was lucky enough to drive one. Oh, one yeah. rare example of an older one that was here. That was our cool. But uh, that is so cool. This is going to be a great read as well. Steven, thank you so much. You rock. Thank you, Steven. This is awesome. Uh, next, we're going to do these two in a row because this is the same sender. This is Martin from the UK also. So, Martin, thank you. Thank Let's you. see what we got. All right, so we got these open. We're going to look in a second uh, together. Yep. Uh, I do see a letter at least in one of them. So, we're going to take a look at that. Okay, so here's a letter from Martin. Greetings, Ian, Pedro, and family. Hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's. I'm a retired 18-wheeler. Whoa. Um... Uh, of, I, I can't read the one word, on Volvo trucks with a few, oh, M-A-N, Mercedes, and Dennis trucks thrown in. That's really cool. You've gotten to drive some cool stuff, I bet. You've created a great channel I look at a lot. I have a few points to show you. Uh, Unamog I have driven and worked with. It was a 417 railroad truck with crew cab and a five ton crane that is awesome you unamogs come in like many configurations they you can even use them on railroads like oh. the rail wheels like a train isn't that cool that's crazy front and rear winches as well i used it to collect and return it after service as i was the only fitter with a left hand driving experience due to driving a 67 Chevy Chevelle Malibu Whoa. on my own. Oh my God. I love those cars. That's awesome, right? Some American muscle in there. Nice. That's a nice car. My wife loves old Chevelles. That's like her dream car. Yeah, it's a black Chevelle. Right? An yes. old 60s Chevelle in black, yep. Yes. 
If you're lucky. <laughs> and then he mentions uh, like some cool video ideas and stuff to check out, like a show and some YouTube video ideas and stuff. So I really appreciate that. I will definitely check these out. And also, did you know Volvo raised 850 estates? Estate, I believe, is a British word for a wagon, like wagons here. Okay. They raised? Raised 850 estates in the BTCC. Now, I only know as much as the BTCC is a British touring car series. Mm -hmm like one of the most requested series on my channel was like DTM, which is like German touring cars and BTCC British touring cars. Uh -huh. Now though, I don't know much about it. I still have to do it. And I am probably going to fall down the rabbit hole when I do it. It looks amazing from what I've seen. Uh -huh. And I do know a little bit about the BTCC other than my first car was uh, known in the US as a Ford Contour which was actually from Europe and they brought over here and called it a Ford Contour, but it was called a Ford Mondeo in the UK. And you guys, I believe, used the Ford Mondeo in the BTCC. So I remember looking back then and seeing like Ford Contour race car because I was like a teenager, you know, I was like, does anyone <laughs> made race cars out of these? Right. And they did. Like wow. my body style car, they raced in the BTCC and I, it looks really cool. So it's crazy. Yeah, I can't wait to learn more about that. Uh, cheers, Martin. Well, Martin, that is an awesome letter. I really appreciate it. And I'm excited for these boxes. So let's, let's see what we got. My God, I think we have a lot of chocolate. What look, is that? Just, just oh my god. Take gosh. a look at that. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness. And you guys might be able to kind of clarify in the comments, but I was telling my wife earlier, like I know that Cadbury is a weird deal where like Cadbury's we sell here in the US aren't like really real. They're not like the, the original, the original Cadbury's uh -huh. that you can get in other countries. So obviously I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that Cadbury from the UK would be much better because oh, it's yeah. the real Cadbury, not the yeah, that... weird renamed, rebranded one we have here. Yeah, I think something. Because I think Cadbury Hershey's. here is under the Hershey's umbrella. And, something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we are going to be really excited to try these because I love how they're little bite-sized ones. Oh my god! Lots of different, um, you know, kinds and flavors and stuff. So we are excited because we've had Cadbury stuff from Australia before, yes. which probably would be more similar to the UK Cadbury, and it was phenomenal. Yeah. Much better than the Cadbury stuff I've tried from the U.S. Oh my god! So this is going to be really cool. Thank you. There's tons Thank of them you, in here. Thank you, Martin. Thank you so much. We can share with everybody around us. And then we have a box. Gosh. Okay, so tons of tons of chocolates. Yes. Kids are going crazy. Candy. Yeah, I guess I'm Is that a candy? Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> this was on one of my suggestions here from the note. This must be a YouTube channel. Jeff buys cars. What? And look, it's that Volvo 850 That's cool. estate race car. That is really, really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Uh, if you didn't know, I do love mugs, so I, I love it I love already. Mugs. And I love it. We have some cool stickers, too. Look at this. Make old cars great again. <laughs> What's this? Save the planet. Crush a Tesla. That's hilarious. <laughs> Very cool stickers. And yeah, I'm really digging that mug. We have some stuff that was buried under the candies in that first box. This is cool. We have Dinky Toys. It's like a police van or what would you call that? Oh my that? gosh. Some police like a... van or truck? Yeah, it was like an old milk It's old van. old school, yeah. Uh, really cool. Let's see what it looks like. So oh, cool. this is it's so like cool. My god, look at that. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that is so cool. What? Oh. That is so neat, dude. Yep. Yep. That's legit. Is it one of the wind up ones? Oh no, it's not okay. Oh, what was that lover? What's that noise? You hear that? Oh. Oh, it's like a siren. How oh, smart is I that? Go back and do it again. I didn't know that. If you actually, you know, if oh you drive God. it, it makes like it's like a police siren noise. <laughs> that is so cool. That's so advanced. I love it. I've never had a diecast like that. All right, and then we have a Citroen DS19 police. Dude, you have no idea how excited I am for these because these old cars are fascinating, especially the Citroens. Look at that, I love it. I can't believe I finally have a die cast of one of these. Cause they're so cool, little old police car. Yeah, and these Citroens are so weird, aren't they? Uh-huh. In the best way, they're just, 
bizarre. It's kind of like what we saw at the Tennessee Museum. Yep, guys. exactly. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> that is so freaking cool, man. Thank you. Wow, Jason. thank you. Okay, and this one is a Citroen 2CV, which is like the even smaller one. And this one we got lucky to see in one of our old videos from about a year ago at one of the best museums in the U.S. is the Lane uh, Motor Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. And it's literally a European car museum. It's not really an American car museum. It's all foreign stuff, mostly European. It was crazy. And we got to, some of them you can even sit in. And so we got to sit in a Citroen 2CV oh, like yeah. this. It was blue, remember? Yeah, I remember. But it was this car. Barely fit. <laughs> and it was a, you know, so small to it's me. Tall. I thought it was awesome, but I barely fit. It was pretty fun seeing mm -hmm. me get in. But um, obviously, you know, Citroens are interesting with their suspension. That was, they were famous for it. And you could feel it when you got in. It was just like so bizarre. Yeah, it was tiny It was car. like you were riding on a cloud, these things though. They had yeah. amazing suspension. Wow, I didn't know that. Totally unique design. All right, and then finally one more. We have a plow truck? Oh, no way. A plow truck? It's an Unamog plow truck. The, what? The ones that they want to get in Utah? Yeah, that's right. I didn't do that video yet. Look at this. No freaking way. I've done videos looking at some Unamogs in action plowing in uh, the Alps in Austria. Damn, bro, that's crazy. Look at that. No way. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Look at that. Do you see that, that crazy V? Like a V plow. I've never seen those. I think I've seen that is crazy. That is machine. cool, man. <gasps> Look at this. This lifts up too. That's you can soft. take that off. <laughs> that is so cool, dude. Wow. Oh my god. That is awesome. I never thought I'd get an Unimog diecast. I love it. Thank you, Barton. Dang. It's like Christmas for Ian today. It is. Alrighty, and then we have some magazines. I'll try and keep it rolling quicker here because I know it's going to be a really long episode. Vintage uh, Road Scene. This is going to be awesome to read. Really cool. We have Practical Classics, Father's Day Bumper Issue, <laughs> and Dad Legends. Aww. Epic Drives, Family Fables, and Dad's Cartels. That's cool. Cool. Love, love that. that. It's a cool Mitsubishi uh, VR4 on the cover there. Uh, popular Classics, The Way We Were. This looks cool. Look at that. Nice. That's going to be fun, I think. Then we have some trucking magazines as well. Oh. More, I can't believe it. Look at that awesome looking Volvo. Oh my they have, gosh. They have, of course, the Heritage commercials, like a different version. Very bright red. That is super cool. That's going to be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And I can't believe it. Look at this. We have What's some Skoda memorabilia. Skoda Centenary Collection. Whoa. Look at that. That is thing. so freaking cool. Oh my God, look at all the, the merch and stuff they had for that. Can we see? Wow. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cool stuff. Plates, How whiskey neat. bottles, teddy bears. Wow. Man, that's crazy, huh? That is, that is too cool. Uh, and then look at this one. More surprises from Skoda. Look at these old cars. These are so cool, dude. Oh my gosh. Right? They're cool cars. They're like 90s vibes. Oh, for sure. 90s or 80s? Um, Some more Skoda parts, as it says, oh on the gosh. back. You can buy extra my accessories for it. Wow, that is too cool. Here's a really old magazine, The Way We Were. Look, A look back. At motoring from the beginning of the 30s to the end of the 70s. What an era that was. Those 40 years, right? Wow, look at the cars. That is cool. That is really cool. That's going to be fun to look through. Mm -hmm. And then finally, another uh, one from Skoda. The new Skoda, how it's changed. This is, of course, the Felicia, which uh, I believe was the car that replaced the um, Favorite, which is the car I drove from Michal, oh, you know, yeah. from the Czech Republic. Um, oh, so God. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. And there it is in all its glory. Whoa, that is literally the car you drove. <laughs> it's like a newer version, like yeah. slightly newer, like just a couple years. So the same. You can tell it was like built off the same DNA, right? Oh yeah. Wow, very, very cool. That's really cool. Uh, that's time. unexpected. Thank you. That is really cool. And that's only box one. So Martin, box number two. Let's go. Uh, this is amazing, man. All right, so box two. <gasps> Whoa. Look at this. 
We have a DVD, Ford Transit, the story of the nation's favorite van. Now you might think, what's the big deal about a transit van? Well, <laughs> look at that one on the bottom. That's a van? They made race vans. No, they did Yes, not. they did. Oh my goodness. Look at that, it's a transit oh super van. Oh my goodness, I cannot. <laughs> that is so cool. Of course, that's like the regular one you'd see. Right. Which, by the way, these made their way to the U.S. Oh, yeah, we see them around, everywhere. Around now. the mid-thousands, like 2006-ish. Yeah. And nowadays, you see these everywhere. These have taken over. They do even food trucks as part of those. Food trucks, ambulances, car, you know, cargo vans, whatever, right? So, yeah, these are, these are definitely here now. But that is really funny. I love mm -hmm. it. I mean, I can't claim I'm a car guy if I don't know Top Gear. Uh, of course, Jeremy Clarkson from The Best Show Ever, Top Gear. Uh, that is cool. Heaven and Hell. I I don't know if I've ever seen this. I've really only seen him on Top Gear way back in the day. So uh, this will be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That is cool. Okay, and then he does have another letter in here as well, basically laying out the um, you know stuff that's in the box and uh, some video suggestions as well. So thank you for that, Martin. Jeremy Clarkson again. Duel. That sounds cool. And I wonder what these are. He must have done like, I I'm sure he did different shows and different special like TV runs and DVDs. Because like I said, I wouldn't know all of his different medias, right? Just of course, obviously knowing him from Top Gear. Uh, but this looks really cool as well. Looks like a Lambo and maybe a Ford. I can't tell what the other car is, but that's really cool. So nice. thank you again. Reminds me of that dual movie. Yeah, right? Maybe he's his version of that movie. Okay, first we have a classic and vintage commercials uh, magazine as well. So again, going to be very fun looking at the old trucks and Thank commercial you. vehicles. And this is cool. We like getting these. Ooh, we get a lot of these from Australia and they're very interesting. Now this is Aldi, uh, but obviously Great Britain Aldi. What? So that's going to be cool to look through. See the different, uh, just kind of like prices and some different, uh, you know, items that they might sell, different foods. Yeah. Uh, so we appreciate that. These are always fun to look at. Thank you. Thank you. I will look into that one. Oh, and look at this, babe. What? Ooh, this is fancy. Look. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is neat, right? Roses. What oh the gosh. heck? Just for Valentine's Day. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, Martin. You Martin, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome, huh? That's so beautiful. What flavors are they? Oh, let's take a look. Signature truffle. Ooh, tangy orange cream. Named after Dorothy Cadbury's favorite flowers, bro. Strawberry strawberry dream. Dairy milk. Uh, Stasher? Golden Barrel. Oh, oh my God, these are gonna be good, man. Hazel Whirl. Ooh, these are sweet. awesome. I think we should open one of these up. Would yeah. you wanna try the hazel ones? Yes. What is the blue one? Oh, I caramel, want, okay. I want the hazel, babe. Hazel? Okay, let's see. This, I mean, I love the presentation on that. Oh That's God, nice, so right? fancy. Oh, look at that. That's the fanciest thing I've ever seen in my life. You wanna split this one? Yeah, let's split it. Just eat the whole thing. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's mine. <laughs> oh, my mm. gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. It's really good. Alrighty. And then next up, we have some more little cars and trucks. This is a Peugeot. Look at that. <laughs> that Whoa, is really cool. Bright it. red. It's little like a Peugeot. bit of buzz. Oh my God. And the doors slide. Oh my God, they do. Oh my That's God, cool. so cute. These yeah, are so see? cute. Oh my gosh. It's like a little bus or a van. Mm -hmm. It's got the little light the cool on doors. the top. Love the sliding doors. That is awesome. Thank you, Martin. Wow, thank you, Martin. All right, and then this one, look at this. What is that? <gasps> what is this? I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't recognize the, like truck. the truck, but it's some sort of truck, and it looks like, if you look at that, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure what country. I don't know if you that's see? 
some sort of Slavic language, maybe? I can't tell, but it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wants, maybe knows more than I do, recognizes the livery or the, the writing. All right, and then we have another Citroen. <gasps> Look at no way. What? Okay, so fun fact, Citroen is a French brand for, for you if you didn't know that, babe. Mm -hmm. And one of the best tires on the market, Michelin, is also a French brand. Look, oh. it's a Michelin Citroen. <laughs> See, we got the little guy oh on there. Oh my gosh, that's a little chubby guy. How thing. cool is that, right? Yeah, it looks so funny in I that. know, right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Show this the kids. Is really cool. Look at that kids. is a cool careful. car, guys. I love it. Look at that little guy. Little guy. Be careful, okay? Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. He's a Michelin guy. He's the Michelin man, yeah. <laughs> the funny tire guy, remember? We have Michelin tires on our Subaru, remember? I don't know why that was a Fortnite skin. He should be a Fortnite skin. Alrighty, and then we have another small car. <gasps> Ooh, we have a normal Citroën. So we have a police one, we have a Michelin one. And now this oh, regular, wow. ooh, <laughs> it's our baby, Sydney. Hello. Uh, we have a regular Citroen right here. What? How That's cool is color. that? It's Love like, the color on that, yeah. It's different. Wow. I, I can't believe how cool this is, man. <laughs> and then finally, we do have a few magazines to end the box. This is Truck and Driver. Mm -hmm. I really love the like appearance and paint scheme of this MAN heavy haulage truck. Makes me think of like Whoa. Christmas or something, it's like a right? Big it does Isn't look like Christmas, cool? like peppermint. Or peppermint, yeah. It's like Christmas colors. <laughs> Is it for Christmas? It's a really cool truck, right? <laughs> I think it's just that way, but I love it. It'll be perfect for like a Christmas party. Right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be awesome to look through. Oh, no way. What? <gasps> we have a poster of that truck. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that, that is awesome? So cool. Oh my gosh, that's big. <gasps> that is Thank such you. an aesthetic truck, it right? Is, it's really nice. And look Whoa. at what it's hauling. How's it hauling that? Isn't it's that amazing? It has six tires. No, one, three, four, eight tires. You know how heavy that dump truck is it's hauling, right? Yeah, it Isn't looks, that amazing? Yeah, those are like really, 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 really That's really, like the really. biggest monstrous Volvo you've ever seen, like right? Industrials, yes. Yeah. I've never seen so that big. That is so cool. Thank you. We have another classic and vintage commercials magazine as well. It's gonna be awesome. I said the power wagon again. <laughs> I love this old brochure, Ford P100. I don't even know what that is. Oh, is oh that my God, it's like, look, if you look it, uh -huh. it's like a little ute or like a little truck. It is, it's very long, but no? I don't think we had these in, in the US, I'm gonna guess. I, I don't know, but I don't think so. I haven't seen anything like that. Before. And I love how cool it is. Look, it's got this old stuff. What? 1982, this catalog's from. Wow. And it's in phenomenal shape. Martin, this is very generous. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. This is like old media. That's mm -hmm. in great shape. It's a Ford P100 pickup. Oh my God, that's so cool, right? Wow. Yes. <laughs> that is gonna be really fun to look through and display. Thank you, man. Wow, and this is a brand that's on uh, my requested this a lot, and I'm gonna get to very soon. Mm -hmm. This is Lada, and this is a Lada Samara. So that's really interesting. Oh. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know anything about it, like but it's really cool. As far as I know, I think Lada is Russian, and wow. they're sold throughout Europe. Cool. And yeah, so that's on my list to learn about, so that's really cool. Gives me like Honda vibes too. Yeah, for sure. And then a Lada Riva, right here. Hey. Whoa, How cool is that? Cool one. Yeah. And this was actually from a local Lada dealer. Um, it looks like in Derby, which is somewhere in England, I think. So that's, cool. that's really cool. So Martin, that was an amazing action packed couple boxes. Again, thank you so much. Very thoughtful and generous. You rock. Thank you, Martin. Okay, so guys, we do have some other packages backed up as well as the two ones we had left that we were gonna film for this episode are huge. And I think we're already running on a long episode right now. So we're going to end it right there. Yes. We will have plenty more to come. More Australian mail times like normal because we have a lot of those as well. Uh, but definitely another European mail time episode very soon because we have more on deck that I just feel like would be too long if we filmed it right now. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much uh, to everyone that has sent something in. These were amazing and really generous. Thank I appreciate you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody.
have a great one and we will catch you later guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.